The digital SAT is here and this will change the SAT forever. In this video, I will cover everything you need to know about the digital SAT so that you are prepared if you are taking it next year or whenever you are bound to take it. All right, so jumping right into it, guys. The digital SAT is a new way College Board is administering their SAT and it is set to release in 2023. All right, that's when it's making its debut. And this is gonna change SAT forever because what we are used to right now is you know the, the pencil, the paper, the traditional way of taking any exam that you take in college, in high school, middle school, elementary school, etc. First, let's talk about how this format is really gonna work. So the SAT still has its four primary sections, right? The SAT Math Calc, SAT Math Non-Calc, SAT Reading, and SAT Writing. But there is no more pencil and paper slash booklet that you will be answering um, your questions on, such like Scantron, none of that stuff. College Board will be using Bluebook. So now let's talk about Bluebook. Bluebook is an online software that will be used to administer the SAT exam. The way Bluebook works is it acts similar to a lockdown browser, which prevents students from cheating. And I know the biggest thing of the digital SAT was, well, students cheat, right? I'm sure every student who first heard about the digital SAT, like, I'll be honest, as a former student, right? I know how students think. And I'm not gonna encourage it, but I know a lot of people when they thought, Digital SAT, they probably thought, all right, they're about to be at home. They're about to have the SAT on like their browser. They can use a second computer, right? To search up the answers, talk to their friends, and boom, you're getting 1600. Bang, bang, no need for notes, no need for my videos, no need for any SAT courses, tutoring, none of that, right? Everything is about to be 100% only. Well, Blue Book is gonna literally tear all those dreams down because that is not how it's about to work anymore. Yeah, I know for a lot of students, you know, the, the ones who aren't as honest as the regular honest student are probably not so happy about this, but it is obviously the fairest way to administer any exam to make sure no one is cheating. So what exactly does this mean for students? Well, first things first, you wanna be nice at uh, computerized exams. All right, now this might sound a little weird, you're like, how does me being nice on a pencil paper exam you know defer from me being nice on a computerized exam well you'll be surprised how you know answering questions on a computer kind of changes everything but you have to understand one thing is like you will still be given scratch paper right while you're taking the sat online so you can you know, do your work but taking a computerized exam is a little different because it's just not the traditional way and some students i don't personally when i whenever i was studying on khan academy and taking those practice tests on khan academy it was really weird for me to answer the question like on the actual browser versus like circling a question or answer on the Scantron. And I don't know, so for some students, maybe it's, like, it's a psychological thing. It is a little weird, but hopefully that's not the case for you. You're not like me and you don't get tripped up by taking a computerized exam versus a pencil paper exam. So just to repeat guys, there will be no booklet, right? So you're doing work on like scratch paper, which, you know, is good for you guys. But the one thing is now, uh, like when you annotate, right uh on essay reading you can't really highlight the text with your pencil right maybe there's a computer tool that you can use to highlight the text that's different that's not as fast as you using your hand to like underline something or circle something make a quick note right and that that part might be a little annoying for a lot of students i know personally for st reading annotating now will be like definitely much harder because i no longer can just do the regular thing where i just you know write a quick note in the margins now i actually have to like write something on my scratch paper, line it up to what part of the text I'm talking about. And it's just not as efficient based on my personal beliefs. And this actually kind of sucks. And it's actually big news because look, I suck at SD reading. And I'm sure a lot of students probably do too. Oh, I sucked. I guess now I'm kind of good at it. But annotating literally saved my life. Saved my score, made me go from like a 620 to a 740. And now a lot of students will probably, you know, try to do the same or might have been might have benefited from annotating a lot, but now the whole annotation game is different and you just can't, you know, make your quick notes like you were able to in the past because the ST is now, you know, on the computer. And how impactful will this be? Personally, I know it will be very impactful for me. But if it's not impactful for you, then good job. Uh, maybe you get used to it when they you know, release the practice exams online. But whatever it is, hopefully you can get past it. And now, how does location matter, right? Okay, so students are wondering, Hey, so this, this lockdown browser, am I, am I still at my house when I'm taking this exam? No, so you will be at a test center, right? So it's almost like the SAT is the exact same process, but now instead of there being a booklet, there's a computer. There's still a proctor who's gonna be watching you guys, right? You're still in a test center full of students taking the same exam, just now online with no you know, booklet. And just, like I said, there's still someone walking you, make sure you're not cheating, make sure you're not you know, asking your best buddy Bob out there, hey, what's the answer for number four on the math section on Calc? Cause I didn't, you know, use rotation's SAT math course to improve my scores. Now I need your help, right? 
the proctor will catch you. All right, so everything is literally the exact same minus the booklet, right? And now another thing people are wondering, well, how SAT scores change, right? Will the digital SAT result in like higher scores, lower scores? Because originally everyone thought that, all right, the SAT is about to have so like a much higher scores because everyone's about to be at home taking this exam. And when you're at home, obviously you can cheat, you can get help, you can ask your friends, you can be on a group Zoom call, group FaceTime call, you know, dishing out ideas. That's, not, that's no longer the case, right? So personally, I believe the scores should be about the same, right? There shouldn't be a big difference because ST is now digital. If the students like average will probably be like literally the same. So I don't want you guys thinking that, oh, now the ST will be harder or scores will be more inflated or deflated. That's not how it's going to work. Scores will probably be about exactly the same. Now, what exactly are the benefits of there being a digital SAT? Well, one thing that's extremely beneficial that I feel like a lot of students aren't realizing is that you can have immediate feedback. Right, and I'm not 100% positive a college board is going down this route, but if it does decide to give you immediate feedback on your SAT score, because listen guys, now, you know, without no scantrons, meaning there's no, no process where college board employees have to, you know, put a scantron in a machine and get the results back, see how many uh, questions the student got correct, and then, you know, store that in some spreadsheet, and then upload that to college board's portal, and then send those calculated scores and send it to students. With the SAT now being, you know, just told, it's just like Khan Academy, right? When you take a practice exam in Khan Academy, you get your score right away, right after you finish. And you get the breakdown of like, hey, what parts did you suck at? What part were you good at? You know, what can you improve? Everything was given straight to you, right? With the SAT being online, you can expect the same stuff. You can expect immediate feedback. So no more like, you know, two to three weeks of waiting for your score. You literally know exactly what you got and you can sign up the next day for the next SAT which helps a lot of students because I know a lot of students don't start studying for the SAT until they're signed up for it. And let's say you take the October SAT and you don't sign up for November SAT because you're not sure how you did on October SAT. And then two weeks later, you get your October SAT score. It's not what you want. And they're like, frick, I have to sign up for the November SAT. Let me start studying as well. So you already lost two weeks of studying. But now with the media feedback, you will get your exact score given to you within like, like right after testing. It is funny that that happens because now you're either gonna be leaving the test center crying or leaving the test center super happy. And hey, you know what? At the end of the day, that's how it should be. Well, you shouldn't cry because SAT is just one exam of many and it's not that big of an exam, it's okay. But yeah, don't cry, please. But if you wanna make sure you get the highest SAT score you possibly can, be sure to check out my SAT map course link in the description below. If you guys have any questions about digital SAT or just wanna claim good luck, comment down good luck on the comment section below. If you have any questions, then comment down your questions. Thank you all for watching. Peace.